Hi everybody, Ellen here. Today I come to you guys with my Alice in Wonderland collection. I did this video maybe like five, six years ago or something. Uh, honestly, my collection hasn't grown like too, too much. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I will link the first collection video I did uh, down below if you're interested in seeing, you know, the growth. Um, some of these books were actually gifts from my friend Jamie and I hope I remember all of them because otherwise that's embarrassing so sorry in advance Jamie. Uh, but yeah, let's look at some beautiful, beautiful Alice in Wonderland um, and Through the Looking Glass editions. So the first one we have is this one. This is a penguin classic and it's so freaking cute and so freaking tiny and I want to say this was a gift from Jamie. <laughs> I'm sorry she's gifted me like five so I'm not even sure anymore but I think this was one from her. Correct me if I'm wrong Jamie. Um, anyways this is with the John Tenniel original illustrations. And it's just so beautiful. And then we have this one I know for sure is from Jamie. Because that I remember, even though it was a couple of years ago. Um, so this is the John Tenniel illustrations. And it's absolutely beautiful. And this is Puffin Books. I think it's called Puffin Chalk or something like that. Yeah. And it's so beautiful and I have like other matching classics in this one too. But yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Then we have another Alice Adventures in Wonderland. And this is also the John Tenniel one and this is from Macmillan. And this one, Jamie didn't gift me but I know I gifted this edition to Jamie. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is so pretty and so shiny. And who doesn't like shiny books, honestly? And we have uh, Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland and this is a little golden book. So basically it's from the movie and it's really really short. And it's just basically screenshots from the movie. So it's a very shortened story but it's beautiful. And we have another Alice in Adventures in Wonderland. This one I have like put some sticky notes in but I haven't actually properly annotated it, it's just sticky notes. Up top, I don't know what I was thinking, it's supposed to be here. <laughs> this was a very long time I read this one. Uh, but this one I got in an owl crate box that was centered around Alice in Wonderland. Um, so that was years and years ago. So maybe like seven, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so you can't really get a hold of this copy anymore. Okay, there's no actual illustration, so Rizzo Dale just did the like cover and the back and stuff like that. Okay, so this is from Rock Paper Company, 2016. So pretty close on the date. Then we have the very first edition I actually bought. So this is Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, all ripped up in this pretty, pretty book. Um, so this one is with John Tenniel's illustrations as well, but they're like with color. Barnes and Noble classic and it's so beautiful and it's shiny. It has silver edges. It has a ribbon bookmark and it's beautiful. We have like one of my personal favorites, honestly, and that is, well, should stop saying the title now, shouldn't I? Um, but this is illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia. And she has a very like unique style. And also have the matching books for Snow White and Cinderella. But yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's just kind of gothic and it kind of drew me in. This is the Collins Design, which is an imprint of Harper Collins Publisher. And also, if you think the cover is pretty, then look underneath. It's an A. Pretty pretty. And all of our books have some sort of illustrations or something underneath. I have another one of my favorites. And I know I will probably say that but about a bunch of these books. But I can't help myself. Anyway, so this is the Complete Alice. Illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. So it comes in this really pretty slipcase. The first book, Alice in Wonderland. And so pretty we have through the looking glass as well of course and these illustrations are just so wholesome and i love them 
and I just love that like they've done both of the books. Most of the editions you can only get the whole of the book like uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland because they only make them for the first book and then he skipped this one. So I'm really happy to have both. This is Walker Books. Another one of the very first ones I bought. Uh, this is the Knickerbocker Classics and we have this beautiful slipcase. Look at that spine. And we take it out and it's just gorgeous all around. So this is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Tales and it's illustrated by John Tunnell. And we have the original ones there. But yeah, there's a lot of different stories in here. So of course we have the two original books. Sylvia and Bruno, Verses, uh, Prolo, Sonnets and Poems. So I haven't actually read this entire thing, just should be making my, <laughs> making my way through it, but I will at some point. Don't judge me. Now we have another one of my favorites. And that is, as always, Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This is illustrated by Anna Bond and it's for Puffin Books and it's so gorgeous and I love it. And look at those ink papers and look at all that. Seriously, I can show you every single picture and it still will not like be enough. Look at that, so beautiful. So, should definitely check this one out. And we have more of a comic book version and this is called Alice in Wonderland graphic novel and this is by Usborn, I think it's called. And this is made by Russell Puntner and Simona Bursey, besides Lewis Carroll, of course. And it's really, really pretty. And I'm usually not a graphic novel type of person, but I really did enjoy reading this one. And then we have Alice in Wonderland sign a story comic. Is that how you say that? I don't know. This is from Disney and this is basically like, it's sign story. So it's from like every screen from the uh, movies and stuff. So the Disney version. So it's really pretty and a really good read too. Now we have Alice in Wonderland and this is illustrated by Mabel Lucy Atwell. And this is so cute too. I love how everyone interprets um, Alice in so many different ways. She's basically had all of the hair colors like, uh, at this point. So in this one we have some with fall color, full color illustrations. And then there's some with just, see if we can find it. With like uh, oranges and reds and stuff like that. And it's so pretty. And I love it. And then we have this one, which is so freaking heavy. But this is the Complete Alice by Lewis Carroll. And it is with the original illustrations by John Tonio. And with a foreword by Philip Pullman. And this is so beautiful. And it's like embossed and stuff. And with the red edges. And with a bookmark as well. I can't pull it out for the love of me. Bookmark. And also, look at this. Cool, huh? <laughs> Anyways, and it like keeps on going. I can't really show this with just the one hand because it's really hard. But you do like this. And it's another one. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really beautiful. It's with fall colors and everything. And and this is colored in by Harry Theaker. Theaker and this wall is. And basically, it's the original stories. And then there's some just short stories about Alice, basically. We have one of my newer editions. I've only had this for like a year. Uh, but that is, as always, As Adventures in Wonderland. This is by illustrated by Julia Sarda. Oops. And it's really, really pretty. Price tag is still on it. Means I haven't read it yet. Issues. Um, but it's really pretty illustrations. Like that. You really should get reading to this edition. But like I said, I have read Alice in Wonderland 13 times through the looking glass. Not as many because I don't own as many editions. Because I try to like read every edition that I bought. Just to ju no, justify buying them. <laughs> Which is why I read it 13 times. But through the looking glass, I think I read like two, three maybe. Because I don't have that many editions of it. So now we have a book. And no, for sure it's from Jamie. Because she got me this like two years ago maybe. 
but this is a really tiny book i mean compared to my hand um but this is called alice's adventures in wonderland and through the looking glass and this is the macmillan collector's library and this is also the uh, original illustrations by john tonio and it's so beautiful and we have lewis carroll in the back of course did i show you the golden edges and the fact that he has a bookmark built in. And then we have this one and it's so cute i mean look at alice down there how cute can it get and then crickety wordsworth collector's edition or something like that I have the latest book that i got from jamie i got this for my birthday this year and that is a swedish Alice in Wonderland, and I do not own that, so that's my first Swedish one. And this is called Alice i Underlandet, and this is illustrated by Tove Jansson. And it's really, really pretty. And unfortunately, I haven't had the time to read it in Swedish yet. I really would like to do that, though, because, you know, it would be nice to see how they've translated it. But yeah, really pretty, so thank you very much, Jamie. Now we have a sort of limited edition. And this is the Wonderland collection and basically just a bunch of different um, Lewis Carroll novels in here and short stories and poems and stuff. And this is a Seasons Edition Summer and this is book 3,782 out of 10,000. So technically you're supposed to take off the protective plastic because, well, you know, it's like lasered or what the hell you call it so i'm just careful of my book and then of course we have my newest edition which i bought in november um but that is alice adventures in wonderland illustrated by chris riddell who is the guy that illustrated the harry potter books or still are i guess and uh i just love his illustrations and it's so beautiful and i love the fact that some illustrations are black and white and then some illustrations are in color but yeah this is the macmillan's macmillan alice macmillan children's books so yeah those were like i think 17 editions i have i don't know i'll write down here double check um but yeah i really love all of these editions do you own any of these editions do you have any ideas for other editions that I need to get? Because I'm open to buying more, apparently. <laughs> I did manage to stop myself from buying one myself for like... I had a period of like two years at least. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.